Operation to do leader in Tlantla Lux Glamini has been granted bail after spending the weekend in jail. Let's bring in ENCA reporter Linda Kuklekulu, who has been following proceedings inside the uh, Rudaport Magistrates Court. And we've got the spokesperson uh, of the NPA uh, with us now. Well, they are not politically motivated. Remember that uh, prosecutorial decisions are guided by evidence that is contained in the docket. So with the docket that was brought before us, we had uh, one accused person and the charges that we could prefer against him are the ones that he's facing currently. Um, well, over the weekend, we heard some um, some Operation Tudula uh, leadership, some of the op leadership, as well as uh, the law and legal representative saying that, you know, the reason he's being kept is behind bars is because there's some political, of political interference. Can you talk to us about that, saying that this is a Schedule 1 charge and he should have been released at a, pol a police station and shouldn't have had to come over here, all the way here? Remember that as the prosecution, we are guided by the investigating officer whether or not a, a person should be released on bail. Yes, arrangements were done, and um, once we consulted the investigating officer during the weekend, when the prosecutor came to see whether or not bail can be arranged at the police station, then the uh, investigating officer raised some concerns, and the prosecutor then decided to step back and allow the bail application to be heard in court so that he then allows those concerns that were raised by the investigating officer to be investigated. Uh, he gave the investigating officer till today, and when the investigating officer came back today, he indeed confirmed that, no, he has investigated the concerns, and um, they have no merit, and therefore, hence, we did not oppose bail. Just some words there outside of the court there from the NPA on uh, the latest developments on that. All right, so let's just go quickly now to uh, Ngobile Mdlala. It's outside the court. Protesters now giving their view on that decision by the court over their leader, Lux Glamini. Those scenes outside the Rudaport court there where uh, Ntlantla 
Dlamini. Lux Dlamini has been granted bail. He's the leader of Operation Dadula. Granted bail after spending the weekend in jail. I want to bring in ENCA reporter Linda Kotle Kulu, who has been following proceedings inside the Rudaport Magistrates Court. So it was a very quick one today, wasn't it, Lindu? Uh, Lindu? Uh, 1,500 rand bail. And then, of course, um, he has to now hand in his passport. Just take us through what happened in court today. Well, Lentantalax Lamini appeared for the first time in court today. Uh, the expectation was, of course, that he would appear last week on Friday, uh, but we are told that the police had every right in terms of keeping him for about 24 to 48 hours before they can charge him, just questioning him around uh, some of the things that he's accused of. But today he's finally appeared at the magistrate's court here in Rodeport, and I can tell you that it was indeed, as you say, a brief appearance uh, where he just uh, went in there. The magistrate then spoke about issues of giving him bail and there was not really any uh, pushback or any resistance from uh, the prosecutor in terms of him uh, getting uh, you know bail uh, today but i can tell you that there was a bit of a exchange between the uh, prosecutor as well as his defense lawyer the defense lawyer saying that he must be released and in any case there is no case against Lanka lax damini but the prosecutor responded to say if there was no case according to the npa then he would not be in the in in, in court today so those are some of the exchanges that we saw but ultimately he, we saw his release he's been granted bail at 1,500 rand and uh, he is to hand over his passport there was an issue around whether he should uh, actually be allowed to travel in other provinces his defense lawyer did say that uh, he's got many programs that he needs to attend to and that was also lifted in terms of having him confined only in Gauteng so he can move around he needs to hand over his passport before 4 uh, p this uh, day today this afternoon and uh, then he can walk free we did see some of the members of uh, his his alliances as well as operation Tutula going uh, to the uh, uh, to the court here to pay his bail so we're expecting that at any moment he will be walking out from this exit uh, just behind me was some of my colleagues who've been set up here we're told mm -hmm. that uh, there will be a press briefing by the man himself just to uh, give us a sense of uh, what he makes of this to be vocal after being silent for almost the entire weekend. So that's what's expected in a couple of minutes by expecting him to just come out and give us a sense of a, a glimpse of what he thinks and makes about this situation. Linda, context is so important in some of these cases as, as we wait for him here very quickly. Um, so he appeared in court, housebreaking being one of them, uh, the charges against him. Just to set up some context for us as why he was in court and what charges today. Just give us a background here in terms of, you know, the, the, the political political context of this case. Yeah, last week Sunday, not this past Sunday, but the, the other Sunday, uh, they had a general meeting in Dorothyembe in Dobsonville, and this was to report back to some of their members, some of their supporters around the successes they've been having, challenges they've been having. And from that meeting, we understand there were community members in Dobsonville that had called upon them to actually go and uh, check some of the houses which are suspected to be uh, drug dens or uh, which are suspected to be houses of drug dealers. So uh, when they went there, we do understand they were with the police. Uh, they went there to check. But one of the gentlemen that they checked his house says that his house was broken into, his house was ransacked, and thereafter, this is the reason we now know that uh, Alex Lamin is facing charges of uh, uh, actually a house breaking, facing charges of malicious damage to property, as well as uh, theft. So those are the charges against him. But it all started with their normal uh, operation to do operations where they go and they check some of these places as well as places that they believe are harboring illegal foreigners as far as they are concerned. So they, that is what happened. But the arguments that Operation Tutula leaders have been telling us is to say when this was happening, police were present. Why is it then that he was not arrested? Why was this not prevented at the time? So those are some of the questions that his legal team as well as Operation Tutula members uh, have raised in terms of uh, his arrest. Some of them labeling it as a smear 
campaign as a campaign to stop and derail the operations of this particular organization. But I can tell you that today you will be walking out and we'll be getting a sense really from him, a first-hand account of why is it that he believes he was arrested. But more than anything, to answer to some of those uh, allegations against him, the charges of actually uh, break, housebreaking, malicious damage to property, as well as that of theft. So we'll hear right from him uh, in terms of what he makes of some of these allegations against him. All right, so his exit from the courtroom there almost imminent. Uh, Linda Kutlekule will keep us updated when he does exit that court. We'll give you details on that. Still to come on all angles. We've got more news, and that's coming up uh, after the break.